Hi, my name is Holly Jackson, and this is a tutorial on Class Dojo. Class Dojo is a great tool for teachers to use in the classroom in order to gamify their classroom. In other words, it's a great tool for rewarding points for your students for behavior and other academic um, purposes. So I'm going to show you how to get started with Class Dojo. To get started, you want to go to the website classdojo.com. Once you get on the website, you'll want to set up an account. Make sure that you choose account information that is memorable. And you can, once you get in, it'll look something like this. And you can start to add your classes. So you can add a class by clicking this plus button right here. I've already created a class for demo purposes for today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my demo class and show you some things inside of the class. So Class Dojo is a great tool for giving students points. So you can see I have all of my students already added. If I wanted to add my students, I could click down here under student accounts. I could also come up here and edit my class and tap on students. And then you can see I've added my students here. You also can have your students add them with a QR code by getting a poster on the left hand side here. Now that my students are all added, I'm going to start awarding points. So I'm going to award a point to Harry for performing a task. And then I'm going to just start adding some points. So you can see that I am able to tap on a student and then tap on a skill that I wanted to reward. So you can see I'm going to award Jenny for helping others. And if this is on display on your projector, students will be able to see as they earn points. This is a very effective motivator in the classroom. So you see I've started to add points to each one of my students. If I tap on a student, I can look at Harry's story and see um, how he's doing in class. Notice that I've left him a message that he's doing great in class today. And he can also see the points that he's been getting. All right, so I'm going to show you some things um, in the, the links all around the page. If you look at the bottom, you see that you have the option to take attendance. All right, I can mark all my students present today and save my attendance. I can select multiple students and give multiple students points. All right, I'm going to give them some feedback and tell them that they're working hard. Another way to give points to multiple students is by doing groups. If you tap on groups here, you can, if you have your students in tables or teams already, you can add those groups and have them pre-selected. So I can tap on some students here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and name my group and create it. So now when I want to give points, I can tap on all of my students in that group and give them points for teamwork or whatever it is I want to give them points on. So I'm going to come back to my classroom by tapping on students. You see I also have a randomizer here so I can randomly pick a student to make sure that I'm giving points to everyone. I have an embedded timer tool which is really nice um, if you have this on your projector. The toolkit is for your phone app. I highly recommend the phone or iPad app because you can be mobile in the classroom and be able to give your students points that way. And then lastly, this is how you can manage your student accounts. If you look up here in the settings, you'll see some options for editing your class. When you go to edit class, you can change the name, you can add your students, you can add your parents. You can also add more skills. So if I would like to add something specific to my classroom, say this is an English class, and I wanted to award my kids for using vocabulary words. Now I have my own um, indicator here that I can use. You also can add negative points and um, that will take away from your students point counts. Many teachers like to stick to the positive though and that's okay as well. This is also how you can add a co-teacher to your class. So if you need to add a co-teacher you can add them here. Lastly, one of my favorite things about Class Dojo are these reports. If you tap on View Reports, you can see a report for your whole class and how they're doing. 
You can also tap on each individual student. So if you were having a parent conference, you could talk to your parents about the, how your students are, how the student is doing in your class. You can also view the spreadsheet or print it. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial on Class Dojo. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.